Hey everybody, welcome to the kitchen. Today we are going to be making homemade garlic powder. I'm currently out and have been meaning to make some and I thought that I would share with you guys how we make this ourselves. Uh, there's two different types of garlic that I often use for this. And the first is going to be the traditional like whole bulb um, that we will have to clean the skin off of and then slice up. And the next type of garlic that I use for this is that is kind of like a quick and easy and it is this minced garlic and water that a lot of people find at the store already diced up. Um, about the same cooking time, but we are going to start by cleaning our whole bulbs. So let's get into it. All right, so now we have all of the cloves individual and we are going to have to finish getting all that papery husk off of them. Smash your clove with the side of your knife. Get all that husk off. Set it to the side. And the paper makes such a mess that once we are done with going through and getting the husk off of all of them, we'll rinse the garlic so that that's not on there. And yeah, we just keep going. All right, so we're back. I've started chopping up the garlic, got it all dehusked. And so now we are slicing and chopping the garlic. There that is. Try to get as much off my knife as possible. I'm gonna move this out of the way for a second. So then I just get my dehydrator tray and some parchment paper so that you don't have it fall through the cracks. And you want to make sure it's a single layer. Some of the pieces, if they're too big, I'll put them back on to be cut up some more. Because again, it wasn't super consistent. I was just doing a rough chop. Try to do as much of one layer as possible so that it dehydrates well. Bring these back over. Smells delicious. Garlic is like one of my favorite things. All right, those pieces look a lot better. And some parchment paper. So again, that was really time consuming. It took me forever to peel all those cloves um, and then we weren't super consistent with dicing it you could use a food processor and that would make them all the same size um, one hack that's super easy to make your own garlic powder is again this minced garlic and water that you find at a lot of grocery stores you take that and then you want to strain the water out of it to give your dehydrator an easier time. 
And you don't necessarily have to do this step, but it does make it easier for your dehydrator. So that's a lot of extra water that your dehydrator would need to um, remove. That's definitely a time saver. Once again, get your parchment paper and then you'll just spoon that on. And I'll do one more batch of that. So we have a full sheet of the pre-minced, two full sheets of the hand peeled and chopped. This one is going to dehydrate quicker. All right, so we are going to head over to the dehydrator. All right, so we are ready to put our three trays of garlic into the dehydrator um, and let that get going. We have one tray of the pre-minced garlic and then two of the hand peeled um, and then roughly chopped. If any of you have like tips on peeling massive amounts of garlic, leave that in the comment section below for me. It was so time consuming, I forgot how, um, how much time that can take. One thing that I wanted to mention that is a great companion for having a dehydrator is a dehydrator cookbook. And there's a lot of those out there. Um, and I just wanted to give a shout out to this one. This is the Ultimate Dehydrator Cookbook. And this is just fantastic. It has pretty much anything you would want to dehydrate and then tips uh, for that as well as drying times and temperatures. So for garlic, um, 125 12 to 15 hours and then it tells you how to make your own garlic powder and garlic salt um, different things like that there's lots of fruit leather recipes and just add water meals and it's just an awesome dehydrator cookbook so if you're into dehydrating or just getting started and you're interested in something like this, I will link this book down below um, and let me know what you think. Other than that, we're gonna get these trays popped in to our dehydrator and going. Um, we're gonna check it in 12 hours. 12 to 15 hours is what it should be, 125 degrees. Um, so I'll see you back again when they are nice and dry and we'll take a look at what that looks like and then we'll make them into a powder so oh. 125 see you soon hey everybody welcome back to the kitchen so it's been little over 15 hours uh, since I've last seen you and our garlic is done so we're gonna shut it off now for the garlic that I hand chopped I did have to go back through and chop that up again after it had been drying some time because it was still a little too big And with dehydrated goods, you want to make sure you have all the moisture out. Otherwise, they can mold um, while you're saving them. So this, you can kind of see, this is the pre-minced garlic. There's not a lot there. It significantly reduces in size and it's pretty brittle. You can kind of hear that. And I guess we'll start. We'll do this in the, I just have a Nutribullet. 
um, that I powder everything in. And so I guess we'll do this minced garlic first so that we can see the difference between this and then the hand peeled stuff. So just kind of go through and loosen everything up off that parchment paper and then fold it up. And so you can see it's about not a lot. So we're gonna put our blending top on. And then we use a lot of garlic powder. We actually just got these containers um, to put like our brown sugar, sugar flour, all that kind of stuff, spices it in. So we're gonna put our garlic powder in this. And you just kind of blend it a couple times. So it's 30 seconds, I would say. It's still pretty chunky. So we're gonna put it back in. And you just wanna check it and see if it's a consistency that you like. You obviously want something that's gonna be um, easy to adhere to meats and can dissolve in sauces. There we go. That is pretty powdery. So this is really quite similar to like um, granulated garlic versus garlic powder. There's still some granules in here. We'll have to get a close up picture. Too hard to show through video. Not a lot at all. But that's all right. Because like I said, with this stuff, um, it's extremely potent. Take our hand peeled garlic out. And these are those bigger chunks and they've dried quite nicely. They don't stick as much to the parchment paper. should have gotten a new cup just so you can see but I'll wipe down the sides see how much more there is in here all right and this is going to take a little bit longer since it is big chunks Open that up and this is a lot more fluffy like you would find with a garlic powder. I'm gonna actually think put this yeah. So there's even like a color difference. You really can't see it that well and it's already too light. They're mixed together, but the minced garlic, that pre-minced, is a lot darker. Where this hand peeled, it's softer, finer, more powdery, and a lighter color. And then again, just check Make sure it's as fine as you would like. <laughs> and there you can see a little over a pound of garlic makes just a little bit um, for this container. But it's a super easy project that you can just 
kind of besides peeling the garlic, <laughs> you can just put in the dehydrator, let it go. You can be doing other stuff while you have this project working for you. Um, so it makes it easy to keep up refilling. And then once you have a decent stock pile, or you can just make some whenever you run out like I do. So make sure you seal your dehydrated goods in an airtight container so they don't soak in that moisture and go bad uh, from the environment around them. Other than that, uh, I wanna know what you guys think about this project. Have you made your own garlic powder, onion powder, any other seasonings before? Let me know some helpful tips down below. I'll see you on the next one. Bye everybody.